Hello to pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvin Drill. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clone and upgrade your NVMe M2 SSD to a bigger one. For that end, I'm going to use this brand Crucial. I'm going to leave the link in the description below as always. However, any other brand that you may like is going to work the same. Okay, I just like Crucial because I have used it in the past and it comes with a cloning software. So this is the NVMe M2 SSD. This one is one terabyte. The one is, that is in my computer right now is 500 gigabytes. So please don't confuse it with this model the m2 ssd as you can see the connectors are different they look kind of the same otherwise but the connectors are different i have done a video in the past on which i cloned the m2 ssd model so if you're interested in that you can click on the top right of this screen for that video having said that we're going to use the nvme m2 ssd right the other thing that comes in the box is the manual that has this web address where we have to go and download the software that we're going to do in the in a few seconds the other thing that we need is an adapter, a USB to NVMe adapter. So this is the one I have. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. If you need it, maybe you have a, an adapter already. Doesn't make a difference, okay? So the way you connect it is like this, very simple. And once you have done that, you have to connect this USB with the SSD to any available USB port on your laptop or desktop computer. Okay, just make sure it's 3.0 or above for higher speed. Now, allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. Okay, here we are in front of the website. As you can see, uh, when I pasted the one in the manual, it redirected me to this other one, but it's, it's the same, it's crucial. Okay, so we have the, the website might look different depending when you visit it. So we have to look for data transfer. You click on that and it's going to take you to the bottom to a Chronis True Image Crucial Download, which is the cloning software, which is awesome. So you click on this, it's going to take you to the Chronis website. Again, the website might look different depending when you visit it. So if you, if you scroll down, you're going to see that right now it's almost 700 megabytes. You have to download it. I already have it and you have to install it. It's just next, 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 next. Okay, so I'm going to show you, this is my computer. Uh, this is the this is my PC. These are the my three hard drives. So the one on the left, the C drive, is the one I want to clone. As you can see, 500 gigabytes. Okay, the other two are one terabyte each. You might have a laptop. You might have more partitions, but this is the one I have, and the process is the same. So once we have checked that, we are going to open a cron. Is that I, like I said, it's already installed, and this is how it looks. Uh, again, it, this might look different depending when you use the software. So active this cloning. Yeah, that's the one I want. So we wait a few seconds and automatic is totally fine. I don't want to do it manually. So I'm going to go next. And this screen is important. This is the source disk. Again, it's 500 gigabytes. And over here in Acronis is telling us to select the source disk. So if you check the disk three is the only one that is 500 gigabytes. The others are one terabyte each. So, and it says NVMe, right? So you select the one that you need, always be very careful. And once you have done that, you go next, this is going to take like two minutes in my case. Uh, so the videos sped up here so you don't have to wait all the real time. Here is the destination disk. So as you can see, disk three is grayed out. We cannot select it anymore because it's the source. And we have to select disk four because in my case, as you can see on the right interface, it says USB and this one is one terabyte. Okay, so select the right one. Always make sure you select the right one. And this is also this also took 30 seconds, one minute. The videos sped up. It's going to give us these options to replace a disk on this machine. Yes, that's the one I want. That's the one I need. So it's selected by default and I'm going to click next. This also took 30 seconds or so. The video is sped up as well. So as you can see, it's going to give us an overview right now. It says before and allocated how it is. It's empty and how it's going to be after it's cloned. So as you can see, it's going to be using one fourth, around one fourth of the capacity because my current hard drive, as you can see over here, is using around half of 500 gigabytes. So it makes sense. So I'm going to click proceed over here. And this one, it might take more or less time depending on your machine. Again, the video is sped up over here and it's going to show you this cloning disk and it's going to show you what it's doing, right? This might take more or less time. And while we're waiting, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. That really helps my channel a lot. So thank you, thank you very much. So after uh, I waited for a few seconds, the video is sped up over here and you're going to see this. Estimated time left, in my case, is 33 minutes. For you, might be more, might be less. Depends on how big your hard drive is, how much data you have, how fast your processor is and all that. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video and come back when, when it's done. 
Welcome back. So as you can see, the disk was successfully cloned. This one took around 35 minutes in my case. Now we press OK, well, we click OK, and we're going to close everything. And I'm going to show you the SSD we just cloned, this one over here. Now, since we don't have anything else to do, I'm going to shut down the computer and allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera so we're going to see the computer itself. As mentioned before, this is a desktop computer. You may have a laptop. The process is going to be similar. And your motherboard, of course, of course, is going to be different. So as you can see, this is my desktop computer. This is my, my power supply, my two terabyte hard drives, my fan for the processor, and my video card. So in this model, in this motherboard, Asus, uh, the SSD, I mean, the NVMe SSD is below this heatsink. So I'm going to remove it like that over there so this is my old nvme ssd so as you can see this one is crucial as well 500 gigabytes that we have seen in windows now we're going to install uh, the new one but i forgot to do something at the beginning uh, I'm, I'm showing you that i'm not wearing any jewelry or watches and i'm going to discharge myself of any static electricity that i might have in my body by touching the metallic case for a few seconds that way i don't damage the circuitry i forgot to do that so now we're going to install it the same way we did with the old one like that, you can use the screw over there, but since the heatsink is going to be on top of it, it's going to pull, to pull, to press it down. And this part is the one that I'm really ashamed because it took me some time to put it back. Uh, one of the screws uh, fell in the motherboard, so I had to retrieve it and all that. That's why the video is sped up, so I, and I had to remove it and put it back again. So <laughs> that's why. So after some time of testing, I was able to put it back, as you can see it right there. And now I'm going to proceed to connect the power supply, I mean, the, the power and all that. Allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. So this is my monitor. And now I'm going to turn it on. So I have two monitors. So I'm connecting the keyboard and all that. So the first time you are uh, booting a um, clone a hard drive is going to take some time. So the video is sped up here. So finally it boot up, so those are good news. So I'm going to log in to Windows and allow me a few seconds to, me to zoom in and we're going to check the hard drive itself. So this is my PC, as you can see, I, I still have three hard drives and all of them now are one terabyte. In the past, only the two um, starting from the right were one terabyte. Now the C drive is also one terabyte, which is the new SSD that we have installed and cloned. So this is the old one. I'm going to use it for, I don't know, some other project that I might have. And that's how you clone and replace your hard drive using Crucial and Acronis. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.